What's poppin' everybody, my name is Danny Matthews, welcome back to a brand new video. Are you wondering how to put an Adobe Premiere file into a DaVinci Resolve so you can color grade it? Hmm, dope. I'm gonna be teaching you how to do that today, so let's jump into it. For reference in Premiere, my timeline is here, my toolbar is here, here's my source panel, my project and effects window is gonna be here. Here is the effects control for that. And finally, the preview window. All right, guys, so here I have a video um, with audio and everything. So you can see that um, all of it's actually gonna be imported into DaVinci Resolve when we do this. So guys, first things first in your timeline, what you're gonna do is come up here, come up here to file, go over here to export, and we're gonna go down to where it says Final Cut Pro XML. I don't know why they name it Final Cut. I'm guessing they just don't want anybody to know that they can put it in DaVinci. I don't really know. But this is gonna be what you're gonna wanna hit. The XML file is what we're gonna convert it to. So go ahead and click on that. It is simplifying this project apparently. So once you guys have this open, go ahead and rename it to whatever you want. You can go ahead and name it, leave your mark no grade and you want to make sure that you label it no grade so you know which xm file is which so go ahead and save it into your project files and it's going to go ahead and export it. and then after that what you're going to want to do is come over here to davinci resolve once you find it i don't know where it is go ahead and open up davinci resolve beautiful so here we are we are in a davinci resolve and what we're going to have to do is go ahead and create a new project so go ahead and click on new project and we're going to go call this your mark and make sure you put graded that way you know that this is actually a graded project. That way when you export it as an XML file, it'll be called this. And now we are in DaVinci Resolve. What you're gonna wanna do next is go over to edit. That way you can import the XML file and then you can go over to color grading it. So first we have to come up here to file and make sure you go to import, come down here to timeline. We're importing a timeline. And what you're gonna do is go ahead and find where that XML file is that you saved and then go ahead and click on it and make sure you open it. Next we have this whole thing. The only thing we're gonna switch here is again, our timeline name. Make sure that you name it to what you're gonna be easier to find it afterwards because it's an XML file. You're gonna wanna name it graded. So when we export it as an XML file back into Premiere, we can make this real easy and you can leave everything else as is. So once you guys have all your footage in here, you are good to go to go over to your color grade. So come over here to the window of color and then go ham on this thing. Once you're done with this whole thing, let me show you how to go ahead and export it back into Adobe Premiere. So next to get this back into Adobe Premiere, what you have to do is come over here to deliver. Under deliver, we're gonna go ahead and choose our option of doing a Premiere XML file. Come over here and go ahead and put in the location that you want it to be. Go ahead and just save it there and you're good to go. Once you have your file opened and location selected, all you have to do is come down here to add to render queue. And it's gonna go ahead and be over here in our job one render queue. Go ahead and render it out and it's good to go. Once it's done rendering, we can go ahead and add this XML file into Adobe Premiere. Next, what we're gonna do is come over here into Adobe Premiere. So in Adobe Premiere, we're gonna come up here to file and we are gonna come over here to import and then it's gonna go ahead and give us an option of what we want to import. Then you gotta come over here to where you saved your exported graded and here's our exported graded XML. I'll go ahead and import. And you might get a caution warning here about FP's FCP transition results report. That has to do with it not being fully updated because I just don't have the thing fully updated. But it's nothing to worry about. It's gonna import literally everything. So make sure you have a bin ready to go for this. So you can just put that right in there. We're gonna go ahead and just name this resolve and move all of that in there. And then all you gotta do is open up your timeline and here it is. Everything else that you graded is right in here under resolve. All of your graded work will be on here. And that is how you do it. And that's it, super simple. Now your heart is content and you're able to grade and DaVinci Resolve and then edit in Premiere. Everyone happy. All right guys, so that's how you do it. If you have any questions whatsoever, go ahead and leave it down in the comments below and I'll get back to you guys on that ASAP. Until next time, peace out.